Independence Day is celebrated each year in America. And independence may be what this killer whale is dreaming about. His name is Keiko. And after 20 years in captivity, he's in training to return to the wild. Not too long ago, he was performing tricks for audiences in a marine park. Now, after spending two years in Oregon getting fit for the wild, Keiko is ready to go home to Iceland, where he was captured as a baby. Keiko's architects are working around the clock, building what will be his new house, at least for a while. It's mostly made of interlocking plastic tubes, and it's called a bay pen. Meanwhile, Keiko is practicing hunting live fish, and he's getting better all the time. Keiko's bay pen was made in Washington state, and now it will be flown to Iceland in pieces. Keiko's friends in Oregon count the days till his departure, which will be soon, because Keiko's new bay pen is being put together in this beautiful bay in Iceland, and it's almost finished. Keiko will live in this special pen for a while, and when he's ready to venture out, he'll be free to go. When that happens, the scientists want to be prepared. They can learn a lot about killer whale behavior from Keiko. These tags have transmitters that will provide data about how long he spends underwater and how deep he dives. It's the night before the big trip. Keiko's handlers are busy, but Keiko rests peacefully. The big day has arrived. First, Keiko is put in a giant sling. Then he gets a nice rub down with his special ointment, which keeps his sensitive skin from drying out during the trip. Then he's off, the only captive whale ever to go home. And he's going in style. I'm gonna miss him. I can't help but cry, I'm gonna miss him. Keiko has made many friends in Oregon. They're sorry to see him go, but are happy that he's homeward bound. Now, time is of the essence. Keiko can only stay in this container for a limited time or his life will be in danger. Keiko's mission is so important that the United States Air Force is getting into the act. Because he's so big, the Air Force is letting Keiko fly in this special transport plane. There's no movie on this plane, but there is a wet bar in first class. Passengers without blubber need blankets. But up in first class, Keiko is doing just fine. The flight lasts 11 hours, but finally, Keiko's home is in sight. The landing will be tricky. The runway is short and the cargo is heavy. But this Air Force plane was specially designed for situations like this, and Keiko lands safe and sound. Keiko is fine, but he's hungry and needs to get out of his constricting container, so the race against time continues. Then, after a short boat ride, Keiko is hoisted out of his container and gets his first glimpse of his new surroundings. sits right in the ocean. Fresh, cold seawater filled with the tastes and sounds of his youth. With a flap of his tail, Keiko shows he's eager to explore his new enclosure. Keiko is finally home. 